And Virginia Senator Tim Kaine now has a better understanding about what is needed to help one local city continue its revitalization and growth. As 10 News reporter Coulter Anstat shows us, Senator Kaine saw firsthand today the work already underway in Danville and why there's still a ways to go. Senator Kane met with city officials privately to discuss current and future projects here in Danville. The city officials then led him on a tour of downtown, starting here in the 500 block of Crackhead Street. The building on both the left and the right will become Airbnb units. Senator Tim Kane is well aware of the growth taking place in Danville, but he's also well aware the coronavirus poses a threat to that growth. One of the things we're hoping to do um, is going back retroactively and saying, Hey, local governments lost sales tax, meals tax, you know, business license tax. Right away, you see that in real time. They ought to be able to use the COVID dollars, just like businesses or hospitals did, to include backstopping lost revenue. The coronavirus isn't the only issue city leaders are concerned is plaguing the city's growth, though. We also talked about some particular issues about uh, legislation dealing with historic tax credits. Um, th th there's a House provision that uh, folks here we're interested in bringing to my attention as to whether we could do something on the Senate side, obviously, in the River District here. So many great projects have been done since 2011 using the historic tax credit program. Danville Mayor Alonzo Jones says a big emphasis during the walking tour was on small businesses. How the small businesses are operating and the needs of the small businesses and hear from the small businesses. Danville is being spoken about all across the country now in the efforts that we've taken in Danville. And we don't want to stop that progress. Thankfully, help may be on the way. Kane says another COVID relief bill will be a top priority for lawmakers when Congress reconvenes later this month. Kane believes there is bipartisan support for that COVID relief bill, which he says will likely result in a three week work session for lawmakers when they reconvene. In Danville, Coulter and Stanton News, working for you.